subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Hello guys, this is N. Pichan. Today uh, we have topic cardinality relation of three sets. If we have a three sets, then how to derive the formula and uh, then how to make the event diagram. Today we will learn about these things. Uh, see, look at here, cardinality relation of three sets. I've taken introduction of uh, here, cardinality relation of three sets. See, mm, introduction, okay, and uh, simultaneously you can see the diagram. Uh, the representation of three overlapping sets, A, B, and C, are shown in adjoining Venn diagram. Observe the Venn diagram and learn representations, you can see. N of A, let's see firstly, okay, meaning of this one, N of A, not okay, set A, number of elements in set A, N of B, number of elements in set B, N of C is equal to your number of elements in set C, uh, N only A, we can read N only A, number of elements in set A only, N of N only of B, number of elements in set B only, N of only C, number of elements in set C only. And then next to your only of, N of only A intersection, number of elements common in set A and B only, B only, be careful here, a and B only, not C, uh, and only of A intersection C, number of elements common in set A and C only, and only of B intersection C, number of elements common in set B and C only, and of A intersection B intersection C, number of elements common in, um, common to A, B, and C, and of A union B union C, number of elements belong to at least one set of A comma B or C, N of complement, whole complement of A union B union C. Number of elements does not belong to the sets A, B or C, okay? These are the user meaning of uh, these symbols. Now let's see in the Venn diagram. So where is our N, on, N of A, N of B, N of C, and only A? These all things, okay, we will see in the Venn diagram. Now let's see in a Venn diagram, okay? We have three, okay? First of all, okay, we have this one, your box, okay? Rectangular box, focus in rectangular box. And this is called the universal set, okay? Uh, this is called your universal set. Let me write down also here. And we can represent by the capital A. So I capital U, okay? This, this is a universal set. Universal set and, okay, uh, universal set. You represent your okay universal set. Let me write down also mm. this okay universal set. I guess okay you understood okay mm. universal set. Okay, this is a universal set. You means okay here yeah, universal set. All right, and uh, so I think you can see that's why okay. I'm removing, okay, just you, okay, universal set. Uh, and uh, here, N of U means, okay, number of elements in universal set, okay? And uh, in general, in general, okay, we write down only A. So simply A, you may write down here. And uh, this one is B, set B, and uh, set C. This one, okay. This is a set C. Uh, a, A means this circle, this circle. Uh, let me take spotlight. And A means this set, this circle, A. And uh, set B, this is a set B, set B. And uh, where is okay, set C? This circle represents set C. And uh, total number of elements is in set A represented by N of A. Like this, let's make okay arrow here. Now for this also, let's make arrow. For this also, we can make here arrow. Uh, here, 
Okay, you may write down, okay, N of four A. N of A, this will be your N of B, and uh, this will, the number all, number of elements, okay, in set C is represented by N of C. N of C. So better, okay, like this way, if you represent. Uh, now, uh, here, and this one, N of A intersection B, common element. Uh, N of A intersection B means elements common in A and B. This one is here, here, okay, here, here. Okay, you can go through this. N of A intersection B. And here, this one is your N of A intersection C, common elements in A and C and uh, common elements in B and C. This is a B intersection, see here, okay. Uh, let me correct it. Here we can write down, okay, this is a B intersection, uh, okay, C. So B intersection C, we can write down here, a B or uh, intersection here, okay, B, okay, uh, here, okay. Uh, B intersection C. Here I don't know. Okay, B intersection C. Uh, N of B intersection C. All right. N of B intersection C. Uh, N of B intersection means this portion. Okay, here. Here, okay. Now, one more thing, listen to me. In A, N of A intersection B, we have a only a intersection B and on A, N of A intersection B intersection C. These two together, okay, uh, make N of A intersection B here. If we add, okay, these two part, okay, only uh, C of uh, intersection, this is the part, th this portion uh, is the part of uh, exactly um, common um, in C and A only. And this is the portion for only A and B. This is the portion only for B and C, right? B and C. But again, A and B, this whole, this plus this. And uh, C and uh, A, this plus this. In N of B intersection C, this plus this together. So we can make the formula from here also, right? And now this portion, this, this here, okay? <clears throat> this portion is only for A. So only for A and this portion is only for B and only C, only for C, right? Now, now we have, okay, inside the rectangular box and outside the circle, the space is left for uh, N of A, union B, union C, complete, means complete, N of complement of A, union B, union C. This is the portion, okay. You may write down either here, uh, complement, or here you may write down, it doesn't matter, okay. But you have to write down, okay, inside the rectangular box, but outside the circles. There's the space for uh, N of, complement of A union, B union, same. Well, I guess you understood, okay, uh, different parts of the, you know, uh, different parts of um, the diagram. So where we have, we have uh, to keep only A and where we have to provide the space for only A intersection V and where we have to provide the space for N of A intersection V. This is a very important, okay, uh, when you need to fill up the diagrams, okay, at that time, okay, you must have idea about this diagram and the usual meaning, okay, also, usual meaning, okay, what are the usual meaning of for these letters, okay, these symbols, okay, you can say, all right, so I guess, okay, you don't have any problem, okay, right? Now we will derive one formula. We, we will okay find out the what is the formula for N of A union B union C. Okay. Let's see. Or uh, let's see that formula also. Okay. Mm. Now here. Yes, see. You can see this one. So we are going to derive the formula for this. Uh, for this, okay, we are going to derive the formula N of A union B union C. How to derive, okay, this is a very important thing, okay. How to derive, okay. Uh, 
uh, I'll look at here this thing okay, just but this uh, here okay B union say we will suppose as a single letter okay all right we will suppose okay as a single letter uh, we will suppose as a single letter uh, a single letter okay so this one okay is a one letter okay so here actually n of a union b union c so but we will okay consider n of a union b union c as a single or uh, set you can write down you can take as a single set okay right and thereafter okay if we suppose b union c as a single set then okay now uh, i'm removing of okay, the circle mm, single set then okay this will work as a single okay if you suppose okay then this will work as a single set uh, single set then you have to use okay so fundamental formula of uh, means cardinality relation of two intersecting sets and of a union b formula you have to use okay and of a union b formula so using the n of a union b formula you can write down okay see uh, n of a all right this is the n of b b union c we have supposed as a single letter right single uh, set okay you can say so n of a plus n of b union c I mean, this is okay. N of B, be careful about this. Okay, as a single letter, we have N of A plus N of B minus okay B. I have okay B actually B union C minus N of A intersection B as a formula, but B here instead of B, we have B union C. So okay, um, now here what we have done, how we got okay this one. So see okay, well, look at here okay here you may write the uh, reason okay. Uh, so um, uh, using on uh, the formula of okay right uh, formula of uh, n of um, a union b okay so i have written okay here using the formula of n of a union b so i guess you have no problem right so how we have written this how we got this one okay using the formula of a union b. a union and of a union b, as you know right and now next line okay let's see uh, Next line, N of A same. So here again, you have to use okay formula of N of A union B. Means N of B union C means N of B plus N of C minus N of B intersection C. So as you know, okay, up to here, we have used formula, okay. See, look at here, okay. Here, formula, okay. This one, formula of N of B union C. We have used okay formula of, okay. Uh, here, we have used okay formula of N of B union C. Then minus same thing, n of a here, uh, here okay, n of a intersection b union c. We have written n of a intersection b union a intersection c. How oh, we have written this one? So here is again problem, right? So see okay. So from here okay, one by one I am explaining okay. This line we have written okay. This one this becomes okay. This one uh, is gonna be this one. So how we have written okay this one? What's the reason for this? Okay. So no problem so i'm going to write down okay for this uh reason so this is called okay here so, all right mm, uh, this is called okay, distributed property okay uh this say distributive property distributive property of sex okay and uh, this is called the distributive property of sex Distributive property of sets. Okay, so this is called okay your distributive property of sets. What is actually distributive property of sets? Let me explain. Okay, just in algebra. Uh, <coughs> sorry, you might have studied uh, a cross your back a uh, b uh, b plus c. Okay. Uh, C is equal to uh, so you have seen okay a times uh, b um, plus a times c so definitely you have seen this one okay a times b plus c is equal to a times b plus a times c you, you might have done okay in many times okay in algebra okay simple arithmetic you have done okay this property is called your distributive property right distributive property so same thing okay here 
n of a intersection b union c means uh, n of okay mm, n of uh, n of a intersection b union c means n of a intersection b and uh, union n of a intersection c okay uh, n of a intersection b union uh, a intersection c okay n of a intersection b union a intersection c this is called your distributive property all right uh, after I think okay now it's clear okay how we have written okay this is called okay distributive property of sets now next well uh, n of a same n of b same n of c same minus n of b intersection c same and this one okay how we written okay this one the same we have used okay formula okay so again okay let me make okay arrow okay uh, same okay same using uh, uh, same uh, you can write down that the same okay uh, we have written okay this uh, same property we have used okay uh, uh, yeah here yeah, okay how we have written okay this one so we have used okay this property right so formula here so what is the arrow okay this one uh, this so how we written okay this one using okay formula of n of a union b using the formula of n of a union b see look at here n of okay if you suppose okay a uh if you suppose this one a and this one okay b then you will use okay what you will write down okay formula for this n of a plus n of b uh minus okay n of a intersection b the exactly same thing we have done here okay same thing we have done here so n of a so let's suppose this a this is a b n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b. exactly the same thing we have done okay using the formula of n of a union right and then now let's see n of a same n of b so n of c minus n of b intersections is same just now okay you have to open the bracket okay right now just open the bracket and you're gonna get here n of a intersection b minus n of a intersection c plus n of a intersection b intersection c now no problem okay now formula ultimately we have a got we have derived um, the formula <coughs> sorry so we are ultimately okay we have got okay we have derived okay so this one formula you have to memorize okay this one formula you have to memorize okay this one formula okay n of a union b now you may be asked okay in a class uh what is the formula for n of a union b union c so okay simply you can say n of a plus n of b plus n of c minus n of b intersection c minus n of a intersection b minus n of a intersection c so here okay it doesn't matter okay uh so either you can write on this one first here yeah, this one or this one no problem as you know and plus n of a intersection b intersection this is the basic formula so basic formula in cardinality relation of three overlapping sets so you need okay this formula uh, when you start to do the equations based on three cardinality relations uh, okay cardinality relations of three overlapping sets okay based on three sets then you need to okay this formula this is the fundamental formula okay uh, in this topic right and so especially we talk on the based on three sets uh, similarly and this formula okay we can derive okay from the Venn diagram okay uh, we can see very easily okay uh, so how we derive okay this formula uh so from venn diagram similarly okay you can get okay also from venn diagram is very easily uh very easily okay we can get okay from okay, uh, mm -hmm. or oh, no okay uh venn diagram from venn diagram okay we can so you can see very easily okay from venn diagram uh, n of a union b union c will complement means n of u minus n of a union b union c we can we can we can okay very easily we can get okay from venn diagram if you go through it okay very properly you can get Th these formula are also important then n of u just okay in expanded form okay this is the formula and only a formula and only b formula from venn diagram we can and only c for only c also this one formula you have to memorize okay these all formula are also very important okay so you have to memorize okay and these all formula we have derived okay from venn diagram okay i don't so think you have any problem 
okay uh, so go through that and go through the Venn diagram and you can get by easily okay everybody so that's all for today and in next video definitely i will tell you the questions how to uh, fill up the Venn diagram and how to do the question based on precise thank you very much thank you for watching uh, if you have not subscribed and subscribe and uh, uh, share to your friends and tell them to also subscribe to get the more and more mathematical video okay once again thank you bye bye